Hello and welcome back to Obsessive Prepper AZ. Today I'm showing you this washer and dryer and I want you to think about if you had a situation where you had no electricity, the grid's down, an EMP, do you have means to do your laundry? Do you know how to make your own laundry detergent if you can't have access to gain or um, tight, something like that? Do you know how to make your own laundry detergent? These are things that we have to think about as preppers because we may not always have our wonderful washers and dryers to do the job for us. Now, in this picture here, this poor woman is just deadbeat tired, hot, but you have to think about these things. Now, my grandmother, I've got photos of her doing laundry and doing it over a wood burn fire. It, this is difficult to do and so you have to think about how are you going to do your laundry and do you have means to do your laundry um you know back in the day they just did it but do you have a stream do you have a lake you're going to be squat over doing it like this woman does you need to just plan for these things and by planning you can do something like i have in my preps here i have arm and hammers soda um the super washing soda I have a lot of Zote soap back there, Phil's Napa, and Borax. And as you look at these, you're like, wow, that's a lot. And it is. But I'm also looking at something that maybe I can barter with. And so relatively inexpensive. I try to think, I try to think about things that I can store out my preps that, one, helps my family, but then also something that I can barter with. Now, over in this cabinet, I have more washing soda. And then I have some Scotch Brights, and the reason why I have those stored up there is for my Berkey water filter, some um, a way to clean the filters. And then coming over to this next cabinet, I have more washing soda, I have Ziploc baggies, and then I also have the uh, um, OxyClean um, cleaning also in my saucepan and a grater inside to do my own laundry detergent and make my own laundry detergent. The Ziploc bags are more for bartering, being able to put laundry soap into bags to give away or barter with. And uh, this is a plunger that I have. I have a five gallon bucket that I always have stored that I could do my laundry. And this plunger here has those holes in it. So when we push down, it pushes the clothing down, but then through the holes at the top, it releases that water out or the air so we're not getting a major just clump of laundry it's getting that washing machine motion the air goes up into it it comes out those holes and this is a neat thing and i have this listed down in my amazon store if somebody's looking for a plunger like this but if you don't want to purchase a plunger you could also do something where you drilled holes in the sides and so that you could have like a release of your air. So if you're a handyman and you have a plunger, go ahead and do that. But these are things that you have to think about in a doomsday scenario of doing your own laundry. I know at antique stores, you can go and still purchase an old washboard. I would love to find the old ringer like that you used to could get. Um, you know, car washes in the day had the old ringers to help wring your clothes. That would be a neat find. But I just wanted to give this to you to think about storing things in your preps for laundry. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please subscribe. If you want to be notified for future videos, ring the bell. Have a blessed day.